everybody, welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Uh, we just got done with that, uh, that one, um, run, you know, when we had to, you know, the, the soap opera peoples. Um, and is, does everyone? Oh, actually, it looks like everyone leveled up. No, not you. Wait, did you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, everyone leveled up. Wow, okay. Even Rector. Um, so yeah, we decided that we were going to kind of go up the, uh, the actual range, right? Yeah, Rotary Saw. Now, although we did see in that last mission that, um, like, over half the group closed to melee range. So, my question is, do we actually want to do one of these at a level that is melee focused, if that makes sense? So, it'd be a choice between shotgun mount gains an auto shotgun attachment, which does additional two damage at the cost of five accuracy. And the adjacent targets at a range of six or greater uses 10 ammo. Um, that would be helpful, but the gun we have on there is actually not bad. So I'm thinking of, um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think we might actually want to go with the rotary saw. And then we'll go back up here. I assume that this keeps itself, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, um... Gaichu? Gaichu? Is that his name? That would be a cool name. Um... Doom, 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 doom. Red Samurai, gain ability... Oh yeah, th this is a sh shuriken, which is a... It's it's a throwing star, it's a Chinese star, whenever you... Ninja star? Yeah, that, that whole thing. Um, I mean, I believe it's exactly the same thing. It may be like a, a variation, but I think it's the exact same thing. Um, got your, uh, you know, ranged ability, toss, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now he's primarily melee, so ranged ability would probably be pretty good. Um, gains a ranged ability, spitting infected saliva at the target's face. Ignores all armor. Now that's interesting. Damage is eight with an additional four damage for two rounds. Max range 10, cooldown two. Ooh, which one of these do we like more? Now that this has a damage of 12, so it's um, four more, but there's no DOT at all. What's the cooldown? Cooldown is the same. The range is the same. Is the AP the same? Uh, does this actually even say... This doesn't say anything about AP. I don't know what it is. Interesting. Um... I say we go for the DOT. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay, uh, DOT being uh, damage over time. So y you have that. It, it, it lingers. Okay, and so on Duncan here, we have Lethal Force, which is a mercy kill. And he gains an assault rifle ability that has a 99% chance to hit an enemy who has less than 25% HP. Now that's actually interesting remaining plus two damage so that this actually uses the rifle he has so it's plus two damage but it pretty much um upgrades the accuracy to 99 percent so there is a chance of failure but hardly any crowd control Duncan's subdue ability has its cooldown reduced from three rounds to two rounds uh i'm gonna go with mercy kill on this one um okay isabel sabotage gains steady shot um so it gains a pistol ability that increases accuracy by 30% and critical chance by a small amount for one shot. Okay. And then uh, espionage is integrated tactical computer marks weak points in an opponent's armor. Isabel's mark target ability now reduces the target's armor. Okay, so this is a debuff. Um, I think we'll go with the debuff because we've got a significant amount of firepower. And I, I, I'm pushing the, the main character to uh, pretty good firepower as well. So we'll go with that. All of these are still ticked. Okay. I keep wanting to like save each of these individually, but it's mainly that you just confirm all after you do all of them. That's my understanding. All right. And then Gobet, uh, Terra Totality, Terra Totality, Terra Territoriality, Territoriality. That's right. Um, we gain a Rat Totem, Destroy Spirit. Gobit's Rat Totem Invocation does 99 damage to any hostile spirit. Interesting. This spell can only be used on spirits. So it's pretty much an anti-shaman attack. 
Let the Triton Totem Invocation can still control spirits that have been summoned by enemy shamans. Note that only one spirit commander control until rank five spirit control where it increases to two. Interesting. So this is pretty much a control and this is just a full on. I think we're just gonna go for the attack. All right, make sure all these are set. Okay, good. Confirm all. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so all of these are set. Wonderful, and we're gonna exit here. All right, so just to check. What? I'm sorry. Well, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Thank you. I wanted to click the button. Objectives. Get some... Oh, we need to get some rest. Okay. Payday. Repulse Bay. Day to, oh, yes. We, we actually need to turn those in, don't we? All right. Um, where's the ship? Isn't it over... It's over here, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, right here. Boop. For some reason, I was thinking it was over here, but yeah, this works. All right. So we're going to go here. Dun, dun, dun. Workstation, wonderful. Uh, access the Shadowland BBS post pay pay data. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, construction plans. Wonderful. Posting will remain active for two days. Okay. This is pretty much uh, really keywords. Please shoot out Victoria Harbor. Posy Bash. Top shelf sublet. What's this? Location, cheap rent, serious offers only. Okay, so is that just mainly... Um, this is a whole thread. And this interface system is not really built to handle stuff like this, so that's a really pain going through. All right, go back. Go back. Check your inbox for new messages. We have two. Um, restaurant job. One of the things I've learned over the years is that even the rich and powerful have annoyances, thorns in their side, if you will. No one is without troubles. The rich just have different ways of solving them. All right. The client for this run has grown tired of one particular thorn in his side. Xing Xing Rooster Lo. Lo is a red pole for one of the smaller triads here in Hong Kong. The 289s or the easy money gang, if you prefer. Despite the 289's small stature, Lowe's illegal activities have managed to damage the client's profits. Mr. Johnson would like you to help him show Lowe the error of his ways. Lowe takes an evening every few months to dine at the Shangri-La restaurant in Aberdeen. If you aren't aware, the Shangri-La is an elite establishment serving primarily corporate clientele from Wuxing Incorporated. Because of this, it's not unusual for diners to bring bodyguards or assistants with them. In Lowe's case, he brings a particularly brutish enforcer known as the Talon, and undoubtedly feels well protected. You are going to prove just how wrong he is in this regard. You are to kidnap Rooster Lowe. Oh, we have to kidnap him. Okay. So long as he is alive and in relatively good health, all options are on the table. While keeping the run quiet would make things easier for Mr. Johnson, no one will shed too many tears over a few dead triad thugs. The client has arranged an exit via boat. So long as you can get low from the interior to the restaurant's dock, the client will handle everything else. Despite being a red pole, Lo is a tactician, not a fighter. Don't expect him to put up much of a fight. The talent, on the other hand, is as nasty as they come. Be careful about how you confront him or things may go very badly. We're gonna go back. We're gonna touch this urgent task. Um, little birds have been whispering in my ear about an urgent and high pain run. Steel Arm Lou, a red pole, managed to get his hands on information concerning a prototype laser weapon in development at uh, Ares Asia Holdings. For years, the Yellow Lotus and the Red Dragon have been locked in a Cold War. Despite this, we remain evenly matched. Neither one of us can attack the other without being exposed to devastating reprisals. Lou wants to change this, and he has a plan. Rather than strike directly, Lou intends to aim external forces at the Red Dragon, specifically Knight Errant. He intends to frame a white paper fan named Golden Fong, making it appear that the Red Dragon have been bribing Ares researchers for classified data. Two leading drone and energy weapons researchers have recently transferred from London to Hong Kong and are running the project. Doctors Taylor and Hardingham were respected in Europe, but in Hong Kong they remain unknown quantities. They are untrusted and therefore are considered untrustworthy. Perfect targets, in other words. We will provide data that will make it look as if the researchers were contacted by Golden Fong and made quite a bit of money, but grew tired of the arrangement. 
Transfer the attached files to a data chip. The files are bundled with a worm program, which will auto-execute when inserted into the appropriate systems. You need not bring a decker, though one may be helpful. You will need to plant data in the visitor record system. The camera systems in Haddingham and Taylor's lab financial data is to be transferred to Dr. Taylor's personal terminal. That in and of itself will not be enough to ensure night errant involvement, however. Planting the data is only the first part of your task. This is where a heavier touch will be required. You will also need to steal the prototype laser weapon. There's a GPS tracking device attached to it, which Lou will plant deep in Red Dragon territory. The apparent theft of a prototype weapon by a disgruntled triad member should convince Ares to dispatch overwhelming force against the Red Dragon, dealing them a vicious blow. As a note, Lou does not care what becomes of the laser weapon. If you wish to sell it or keep it, feel free. Interesting. I've also attached a map of your execution extraction route from the building. During the facility's expansion in 2052, Ares Asia was forced to extend their foundations deeper into the island. They drove piles through the former site of the central MTR station, which partially collapsed during the Delu Bay earthquake of 2044. Practically... This means that you can exit through the basement directly into the new MTR line through Central. With any luck, you can be gone without anyone knowing how. Unfortunately, this route is heavily ar alarmed, so you'll be forced to go in the front door. If you can con the front desk, you should have no problems. The facility is both an office and a residence, so strange people coming and going at odd hours is not unusual. If you're not up to fast talk, however, be prepared to shoot your way in. All right. Lou does not care if you are loud or quiet, but a word of caution. He came by all this information by the loose lips of one of the research team. Other fixers know of this job. Move fast and you're a guaranteed success, but there are definitely other shadow runners with an eye on your prize. Okay, so that last part, I wonder if that means um, if we go back and do another job, this one may be gone. Or if it means there's a possibility we may actually encounter another team when we're on this run. Um, I guess the real question is here, do we care? I think before we take either of these, we're going to go back. Okay, um, open the jobs directory. Is there anything in here? Claim payment for finding the data for Dr. Xinying. So if the jobs is finished and await the response a few months later, a message pops. Boom. 1100 good work out there kid here's the money i promised you okay you all active jobs okay we have none here um do, 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 do. okay we're gonna walk away actually we're gonna go over here and i'm i'm thinking that getting some sleep is going to actually be a cycle point so i want to see Uh, good to see you, Wu smiles. Now leave me alone, I got stuff to think about. Okay. Think about that last run. I set that one out, remember, Rush? Yeah, that's right. Okay. We're gonna... Where to find me? Yeah, yeah, right by the fishy smell. Let's go upstairs real quick. We'll go uh, talk to Gobet real quick. Come on. There we go. Gobet looks up from her hot plate at the sound of your approach. A smile creases her face. She raises her eyebrows and gestures at the cabin around her. You know, the Dowager Empress has really been shaping up over the past few days. With all the work that we've been putting into her, she's starting to feel like a real home. Really? Does this look any different than it did before? I don't know. Anyway, enough about the boat. She puts her hands on her hips, sending madness skewering. Ready for your next lesson, or did you just want to chat? Is it too late to change the name of the boat? Afraid so, Seattle. Everyone's gotten pretty attached to it. We all like the Dowager Empress just fine as she is. Besides, I've already painted her name on the side of the hull. But when did you get... All right, just check. Okay, when did you get the time to do that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, now that I got that out of the way, is there anything else that you need? Um, any thoughts on that last run? Man, if every job we get could be about going to fancy parties and stealing their food and booze, I'd be a happy camper. I don't understand why those trid types get in their weird, weird rivalries, but I sure as hell won't turn down money to help them blackmail each other. Listen, Seattle, I'm all for making allies where we can, but do you really think making somebody better at being a vampire is a good plan? I know she said she owes us, but come on. I don't know how trustworthy a leech is. 
I like that we got paid, but I can't help feeling we've created a monster that's going to come back to haunt us later. So what else did you want to chat about? That's all for now. We'll, we'll do the next lesson later. So she's not happy about the vampire thing. Isabel. Isabel's avatar flickers on the screen. You haven't accepted the job offer I sent you. Is there a problem? All right, we have that job offer. Crap. No, no problem. I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. Yeah, actually, it doesn't sound like now. Okay, we'll just... Oh, well, in that case, please read it soon. I really think that this job is a good idea and it won't have any noticeable impact on the work that we're doing for Kim Lee Chang. Oh, Kim Lee Chang. Okay, so that means that we're not going to bypass anything else. It's a win-win scenario for us. We just need to go do it. Okay, so anyway, uh, watch your back, blah, blah, blah. Nice avatar. We've done this. You really feel at home, right? Any thoughts about the last run? She shakes her head. Nope. Sorry. Jacking into the octopus is how I relax after a long day of work. Some people go to sports bars, strip clubs. I do this. As a rule, I don't spoil my leisure time with shop talk. But we're already talking shop talk. We, we've been through this already. It is. So if you wouldn't mind changing the subject. I gotta go. All right. I guess we're gonna go home. Um, home. It's funny. I guess you, you could call her. Our, uh, our bunk home, but we're gonna actually gonna talk to what's his name down here real quick. Bum ba bum bum bum. Rector, that's right. I wanted to say Rigger, but Rector. Rector's shop is sweltering hot, even more so than it was the first time you stepped inside. The world of actuators accompanies the fine motions of the manipulator arms that hang from the ceiling. They are turning an object over and over in their articulated hands, soldering wires and hammering rivets. Ah, my friend, welcome back. Rector touch types a series of commands onto his bracer, and the arms relax into an idle posture. He smiles at you, a cigarette dangling from his lips. There, that's better. Now what can I do for you? Any thoughts on the last run? I can enjoy a social gathering as well as anyone else, but our client and our targets were contemptible people. Tridio programs, soap operas, intellectually bankrupt. Saccharine sweet family dramas without an ounce of inventiveness behind them. The pap that these fools produce is a poison for the mind. He takes a drag on his cigarette, blows the smoke in a plume. At least we had the encounter with the vampire to make things interesting. Now, what else would you have for me? Um, we're getting along with other members of the team. Perfectly well, thank you. They all seem competent enough, and there haven't been any major personality conflicts so far. He rubs his chin thoughtfully. So long as they continue performing to an acceptable standard, I can see no reason not to continue our arrangement. It's good to run with the team again. Okay... He raises a finger. You don't manage morale, my friend. You manage the team. So long as we continue to succeed, morale will take care of itself. Okay. So, I gotta run. Okay, wonderful. Um, and we didn't actually have... What's his name? On the last run, right? I don't think we did. Cabin is in a far better state than it was previously. The heat has been adjusted down and the ventilation restored. The boxes of junk and parts have been stacked and neatly arranged, and Igachu's small amount of personal gear is tucked away in a corner. There's a small mat in the center of the cabin that looks like it doubles as both a rug and a sleeping pad. Igachu is seated in the lotus position, eyes closed. His fingertips rest on a braille reader that is plugged into his PDA. The device fills the room with a soft clicking from the pin combinations. As you approach, he lifts his hands from the reader's surface. Hello again, Spot. Is there something I can assist you with? Looks like you've carved out a nice little spot here. I was hoping we could talk some more. Got a minute? Checking your email? Reading a book, actually. The pins press up from the reader, each syllable or character scrolling from cell to cell on the surface. It takes some practice, but once you get the knack of it, it is simple. I suppose I could have the book read to me, but I prefer reading it this way. That's actually pretty cool. Now, what is it that you wish to discuss? Actually, uh, the Braille Reader, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Sneakers, and if you haven't, you definitely should, with uh, Robert Redford and and a bunch of p p people. Uh, really great, but um, uh, Whistler, the, the the guy, one of the guys in there is, is uh, he's blind. And uh, he, uh, he uses a Braille Reader at one point here in the movie, which is pretty cool. He also has this huge... Uh, braille version of Playboy at the beginning of the film, which is kind of funny, ironic, and because uh, you know it's Playboy. But Playboy's got some actually really good articles. Just it's actually kind of cool that they're dropping all of the nudity stuff because there's actually some pretty interesting uh, articles. I've, I've read some great interviews in Playboy, like Kevin Spacey and stuff like that. Okay, um, da, 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 talking about your father billing yet? Yeah, okay, no, I'm not gonna get into all that right now. All right. Uh, we've been through this before. We're going to go up. 
I think we should go sleep and then take that job of Isabel's. That's probably the best idea. Bloop. You wake with a start. Once again, you've tangled in your sheets, drenched in sweat. Your throat feels like it's on fire. You can't remember what your dreams were about, not precisely, but again you feel the yearning sensation, the emptiness in your gut and your chest. Your head throbbing, you heave yourself out of bed. Well... Oh, hello. Oh, oh, this is our stash. So, um, you know, at least we got some... Let's just... Oh, that's great. Confirm. Great. Um, got some sleep. I'm hoping. Although it doesn't actually... There's no time, so we, we never really know for sure, do we? Let's go here. Boop. Um, we're going to open the jobs directory. View pending jobs. Um, job offer from Isabel. Here we go. She stares at the camera with her eyes full intensity. Right, right, right. Unfortunately, he's in a says from metrics. Nobody knows where he is. Meet space, but I know where he's going to be. There's an event coming up that the rhombus can't afford to miss. He might already be on his way there. As you're reading this message, Deckers from all over Asia, white hat and black hat alike, are converging on the Harbor Spires Hotel. Right. This year, Harbor Spires is hosting DeckCon. I assume that's supposed to be def something like DEFCON. Um, or not DEFCON. Um, uh, uh, crap. I forgot the name of it. You know, the hacker convention. Is it DEFCON? Actually, it might be DEFCON. I'm running out of my mind. I know this very well. I'm just, I'm having a brain cloud moment. Anyway, uh, this year, blah, 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 Hong Kong's largest annual decking convention. Rhombus is going to be there, and that gives us an opportunity. We're going to hit the convention, find him in meat space, and get the software away from him, and we're going to do it quietly. Enclosed, you will find a copy of the plan that I've worked out for the run, presented in bullet point format. Everything should be fairly straightforward. Bill's image will call, blah, 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 fills with lines. I will provide you and the other runner of your choice with visitor passes of the convention. I will proceed ahead of you using my own guest badge. I will hide in the women's lavatory at the first floor. You will enter by the kitchen. Procure me a uniform from the catering staff. Please be sure that the uniform is size four. Okay. We will rendezvous. I will change into the uniform and using it, I will infiltrate the administrative wing of the sixth floor. You will proceed into the convention hall and wait further instructions. Using the admin computer, I will identify Rhombus by his guest registration form. Once I've done this, I will alert you via comlink. I will upgrade your badge to VIP status, granting you access to the VIP wing of the hotel. You will tell Rhombus that he has been granted VIP status and offer to escort him to a complimentary hotel room. You will escort him to a room that I designate and hold him there. I will jack out of the matrix, make my way from the admin wing to your room. We will intimidate Rhombus, beat the tar out of him until he gives us the software. We will tie and gag Rhombus and stuff him into a storage closet. We will not be gentle. <laughs> It's okay if he starts crying. I remember this now. Actually, please prioritize this. I want to see tears. Software in tow. We will make our escape. Okay. Um, take the run. Excellent. I knew that I could count on you. Settle up spot. This is going to be fun. Bum, bum, bum. Back to root. Um, walk away. Wonderful, wonderful. Con for Isabel's job. Okay. So we're going to be able to take one person with this. I'm not sure who that's going to be. Hmm. I'm not sure. Or Sp spider shin. Dun dun dun. How much cash do we have, by the way? Oh, we have some karma, too. What do we want to do with this karma? In fact, if I remember correctly, hold on. One of the things I wanted to do with this karma, most likely, was put it in charisma. Yeah. Five. Because I'm trying to get... Actually, here we actually get another et etiquette, don't we? Yeah. Okay. But, um... I think we're going to need karma. In this situation, I think it'll help. Not karma. Uh, charisma. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Not that. Uh, let's go... Do, do, do. Right. Who around here is the weapon dealer? It's not this guy, is it? This guy's uh other stuff. We can go in here though. Come on. There we go. Uh show me your services. Here we go. Uh oh yeah, medical supplies. Did we use any of those last time? No, I don't think we did, actually. We we primarily used, um... 
uh, Gobet used her heal spell, but not much other things. Um, let's see, let's see. Well, this is um, passive one strength, five HP. I'm actually looking more for. This gives a plus six percent to hit. Well, there's that. Are there any other vision enhancements? I would love to get more than that. That's an eye data check. Um, plus one to intelligence. That's interesting. Where does that go in the head? No. Oh, oh, it goes in the brain. Is that a new slot? I think that's a new slot. Use knowledge based skills. Oh, knowledge based skills. Interesting. Eyes. Oh, here we go. Eyes. Um. Uses the range combat skill for accuracy. High end flash bulbs hit in the cyber eye. When triggered, grants an attack that blinds an enemy if successful. Interesting. Laser designator. Um, when triggered, grants an ability that paints a target with a laser, making it easier for your team to hit. Oh, huh, interesting. Um, I, th I might like the passive a little bit more. Or actually, bright light system is actually pretty nice. Only one for brain, right arm. I know we have left arm. What's what? What is this? Skill wires um, designed to give the user more control over the reaction times. Okay, so that's. Uh, plus one to dodge. Now this is quickness and ranged combat. That's actually really nice too. We could put it in there. This is alpha wear. What does this do? One strength, five HP. Magnet arm. When incoming grenades target the user, they're automatically flung back to their source. Oh no, that's really freaking cool. Jolt alert. Production pads. Useful for deckers and riggers who don't want to sacrifice valuable hardware space, headwear space. Oh, it's a data jack. Cool. Silver tech cyber arm basic. That's just HP throwing weapons plus one. That's actually not bad. More dodge. Um, do to do. If these are stunned, they'll automatically be jolted back to consciousness with one HP. That's interesting. Um, I think I like this quickness and range combat. So that's for an arm. Cyber weapon. Do we have any melee attack stuff? Because I don't think we do. I don't know if we actually want any. This is right leg. This gives us plus one quickness. We can't afford any of these. What is this? Eight HP, one quickness, one dodge. That's awesome. Three movement. Damn, I'd love to have this. Hydraulic jack. Okay. Right arm. I like the magnet arm. I'm not sure if we're going to go for it, but I like the magnet. I think we might just go for quickness and ranged combat. Yep. Yeah, I'm aware. We're not, we're not using magic on this character at all. All right. Wonderful. Can we? Oh, uh, we're done here. Thank you. Do do do. All right. Actually, do we get to see ourselves here anywhere? Um, I thought we there was like a. Oh here. Do we actually see anything on our arms? No, I don't think we do. That sucks, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna go here. And we should be able to chew. Oh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Now, she didn't give a lot of transit to board. Yeah, charter bus to Deccon. So, wait, we can't take her, right? Or, oh, or was that actually the client talking to us? I see. Um... I don't know if we want him with it. I don't know how the mechanics work, right? I mean, like in this particular case where we kind of need to keep a low profile for a while, is having a freaking goal with you gonna cause us a serious problem? Cause it seems like it. 
Um, let's look at skills here. Oh, can we pick more than this? Oh. Okay. Oh, Isabel must be present. Okay. I did read that right then. Okay, good. Um. Duncan. No charisma whatsoever. Actors, no charisma. Gobet has five. He has two in biotech. Yeah, like if we actually need, need like, I think we're going to take Duncan. Because I think that if we need, you know, actual firepower, which we may, he's going to be the one. Okay. I think that's right. Um, who's this? No, you. Right, here we go. So you're taking all this. Duncan's taking this stuff. Okay, great. So we're going to confirm this? Yep. Let's go. Detcon 2056. A chartered bus carries you from Kai Tak to a mid-range hotel in Sun Wan. All around you, the happy chatter of your fellow passengers fills your ears. You hear tech speak in a variety of languages and dialects, talk about new lines of drones and decks, arguments over innovations in data jack technology, and baseless speculation about the next season of Urban Brawl. Your guest badge, a glossy slip of laminated paper emblazoned with a flashy logo, hangs on a lanyard around your neck. Your ticket in the convention hall and the only disguise that you should need. The bus drops you in front of the Harbor Spires Hotel, and you promptly circle around back to find a service entrance. Isabel should be waiting for you inside. All right. Come in stash. We don't really have anything in stash that we care about. Yes, yes. All right. We're going to confirm. All right. The service entrance to the Harbor Spires Hotel looks like any other. Scuffed walls coated in chipped paint. A floor of well-worn hardwood. A time card reader hanging from the wall at a slight tilt. Nothing about the dingy, utilitarian confines of the room that you're in hints at the elegance and fine decor of the hotel beyond. Reminds me of that dump we squatted in back in Bear Creek. The motel with the raccoon problem. Little bastards kept me up half the night. Every night, I swear that one of them was eyeballing me. Your earpiece crackles to life. Isabel calling from the women's lavatory. Spot. A burst of static fills your ear, obliterating Isabel's voice. A second later, she cuts back in. You in position? Yeah, I'm standing just inside the service entrance. I'm here. Yeah, you're kind of breaking up, though. In position, you mean twaddling my thumbs? Yeah, okay, you're breaking up. Yeah, I know. More white noise. Connection here is, here is crap. The comms keep cutting it. The... This doesn't bode well. Aren't you going to be giving us instructions over the comm? Yeah, hang on. Let's try to boost our signal. The sound cuts out entirely for a good five seconds. When Isabel's voice comes back, it's half again as loud as when it was before. There, that's better. What a pain in the ass this is. There's way too much interference coming from the show floor. We aren't going to be able to rely on our comm links for this. I'll find us a workaround. This doesn't inspire confidence. I hope that you do it fast. The entire plan hinges on our being able to communicate. We'll deal with this one. Like I said, I'll find a workaround. For now, let's concentrate on the task at hand. The catering staff should all be in the kitchen, hauling trays of steamed clams and... at ap Hmm. Out of the convention hall floor. I'm going to need you to find a way to get me one of their uniforms. One that will fit someone my size. Okay, decking we don't decking. Uh, find a drawer size catering uniform. Check. I'm on it. Good. Oh, and spot. We aren't going loud yet. Got it? Whatever you do... Don't start shooting. We can't afford to send Rumbus running before we can get him cornered. Right, okay, right. No shooting until we have Rumbus. Got it. Okay. That's kind of what I assumed, so we're good. Okay, so what's this? This, okay, that's a drone vent. Alarm panel. This panel controls simple building maintenance and safety features while the panels and min level user interface has been locked away behind a biometric fingerprint reader a skilled decker could easily bypass such a restriction um, work manifest logs the damn sprinklers went off again the entire kitchen was flooded and chef bun quit we're going to have to go with third party caterers for the big event this weekend because we sure as hell can't steam a few thousand clams without any kitchen staff okay view archive work manifest Okay, so that's the same one. Walk away. All right, so we can't get into that because we don't have a decker. So we're going to go through here. See what we can find. 
Okay, what did she say? A size four? The Harbor Spire's kitchens are whirlwind of activity. Attractive twenty-somethings in white catering uniforms dash in and out of the room, their arms laden with heaping trays of steaming shellfish. One man stands still amidst the chaos, the eye of the storm. His white coat is at least half again whiter than those of his subordinates, and his collar starched as stiff as a board. The floor manager notices you, and his eyes narrow. He stalks towards you, toward you, practically frothing at the mouth. You can't help but notice the embroidered corporate logo on his lapel. Paste, pastry, magic, and more. Fine catering. The image is completed by a stylized rendering of what appears to be a frolicking kitten standing aside a pair of shooting stars. Okay. You! What are you doing in my kitchen? He glances at your chest, sees the visitor badge hanging from the lanyard that Isabel gave you, dangling around your neck. Convention goers are not allowed beyond the show floor. Etiquette corporate, here we go. I'm here at the behest of my employer, Wux Wuxing Inc. Perhaps you have heard of us? I smell clams. Are you still clams back here? I'm sorry. I must have gotten turned around. Do you know where the Shiwi's kiosk is? I really like your uniform. Could I buy one for my daughter? We're gonna go with this one. He stopped short. Yes, everybody's heard of Wuxing, but what do you want with me? Our CEO, Mr. Wu Lung Wai, likes your food. He would like to offer you a permanent location in one of our corporate food courts. His eyes go wide. Y y yes, of yes, of course. I'm so sorry for the rough treatment that I gave you when I found you in my kitchen. Normally, I would have never have... Of course you would. Now, I'll need to bring my employers one of your uniforms for branding purposes. One of our uniforms? Uh, yes, of course. Take as many as you need. He fumbles with a device on his wrist and a door in the corner of the room opens with a click. Thank you. My employers will be in touch with your contract. Good decision. You're about to become a very wealthy man. Contract. Oh, thank you, sir. As you turn away, he bows frantically after you. This is the happiest day of my life. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure that... Well, I guess... I don't know if someone in my position would have a just have a visitor badge. But I guess, maybe. Yeah, okay. So we're not going over here. We're going over here. Pick up the uniform. Dwarf-sized. Dook. All right, so we got that. Give Isabel the kitchen uniform, right? What else we got here? Locate and trap Ramos, right? Give Isabel the kitchen uniform, keep Isabel alive. Okay, so, well, obviously we want to keep Isabel alive. Psh. Isabel's our girl. She's like, awesome. She's linchpin. Linchpin, I tell you. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, show floor. All right, so uh, here's the woman's laboratory. So we're going to go this way. Men's laboratory. Uh, can we go in here? I don't know if we can even go in here. I guess so. You enter the women's restroom to find Isabel waiting impatiently for you. Her guest badge dangles from its lanyard at a canted angle, and the clumped ropes of her hair look frazzled. At the sight of you, she steps forward. You're here. Good. I was getting tired of hanging out in the ladies' room. You have the uniform? I right, am catering uniform. Uh, hand it to her. There you go. She eyes the embroidery of the logo, nodding. Good, good, this will work. All right, I'm gonna change into this thing and hightail it to the employee's only door on the far side of the convention hall. They'll let me in even without a badge. They'll just figure that some rich guy wants a drink. Where's the VIP area? On the other side of the convention floor. I'll have to cross the show floor to do it, but that should be safe enough. Nobody pays attention to the catering staff these th at these things. So I'll make my way across, pass through the door, and take the elevator up to the admin wing on the sixth floor. All that you need to do is take your position and wait for my instructions without raising an alarm. Pretty simple stuff. Should be foolproof, assuming that you don't screw anything up. Do you have any questions? Have you figured out what you're going to do about the spotty comlink connection? Yes, there's a demo kiosk near the VIP entrance. It's running some new Matrix avatar editing suite or something like that. The software is called Perfect Persona. When I get to the admin area, I'm going to patch myself into the Perfect Persona console. But we're going to communicate through that. <laughs> it isn't a perfect solution, but it beats having to deal with a dropped connection. Just be sure to grab the kiosk when you're in position. Don't let anyone else get to it. All right. What am I supposed to do on the show floor again? What should I do between when you leave and when you get to the position? Walk the show floor, mingle, try to look like you belong here. Just try not to say or do anything that'll stand out in a bad way. You're supposed to be a hot new decker in town. Try not, try to act the part. What am I supposed to do on the show floor again? 
Wait by the VIP area door. When I identify Rhombus, you'll apprehend him. Tell him that he's the lucky winner of a complimentary VIP pass upgrade. We'll escort him through the VIP doors into a room that I'll have empty and waiting. Then we'll all get the software from him together, beat him up, and stash him in a closet. No more questions. Let's hit it. All right. Okay, so... Okay, that's her. Now, where's the VIP area? I know she told us, but I assume it's going to say. Is it here? I assume that's the VIP area. This is employee. Okay. And where's the, this uh, persona place? We're going to go this way. Okay, so this is like the food court. What's this guy? Convention staffer. As you approach the corner of the convention floor, you find a brightly lit entrance. There are signs on the walls pointing toward it. Siamese parlor. Oh, Simpsons parlor. Siamese. Psh. Simpsons parlor. Decking area. As you draw closer, a convention staffer in a bland uniform steps towards you. Sorry to say it, but we're a bit crammed right now. If you hang tight, we should be able to squeeze you in soon. There's maybe a half hour wait. Please, places like this never run at full capacity. You're keeping a few VIP slots in the back, right? I don't have half an hour. Are you sure that I can't just slip on by? I can make it worth your while. No. We're full up. I don't know how else to say it. You need to wait like everyone else. Stay cool and we'll get you in as soon as possible. And I'm going in. Feel free to get in my way. I don't know if we're going to do that. The show organizers are going to be livid when they hear that you made me wait. All right, I'm going. Okay. Normally, I would just like force my way in there but first of all I'm not sure that we need to get in there and second of all uh, I don't want to cause any problems a rack of high capacity stick memory devices patent pending <laughs> I was actually at Comdex in Vegas when uh, Sony introduced their memory sticks which didn't really go very far tired of attendee the man standing at the As Technology demo station looks strangely out of place at a Decker convention. He isn't carrying a cyber deck, and you can't see any sign of cyberware on his person. Not even a data jack. He looks up from the kiosk, blinking. Did you want to use this? Am I in your way? He sounds preoccupied. He shifts his body, and his movements are unnaturally smooth and graceful. As he moves, you can see that the kiosk screen is flickering. Apparently, the demo software has glitched out. Use astral perception to read this man's aura. No, that's all right. I'll, it looks broken anyway. I'm just passing by, man. Didn't mean to bother you. He glances down at the screen. Oh, yeah, I guess that is not supposed to do that. I wasn't even really paying attention. He clears his throat. So, uh, if you're not here for the kiosk, was there something else that you needed? Examine his visitor badge. The badge hanging from the, his lanyard is a cheap day pass. Only good until the show floor closes tonight. The name field says Gamish in block letters or Gamish. You aren't a decker, are you? His demeanor changes, goes from tired to suspicious. Why do you say that? You're at a software demo kiosk and you didn't notice that it was glitching out on you. But I don't see any chrome on you, or a cyber deck for that matter. He sighs. Yeah, I guess that's probably kind of a giveaway, isn't it? You're right, I'm not a decker. But I'm enjoying the show, so if you wouldn't mind. Got into all this decker stuff, what is there here to enjoy? He sighs. Look, I'm here to relax and get off the streets. They've got free clams and free wine, and everybody but you seems happy to keep to themselves. So just leave me in peace, okay? Look, I think that, that you're here on a job. I am too. Just want to make sure that we don't step on each other's toes. His eyes flit to the far door again. Slowly, they shift back to you. My target's name is Ezekiel. Extraction job. Should be quick and quiet. You? I'm here for someone else. We should be good. That's a relief. The last thing I need is another team coming in and complicating things. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I really need to keep my eyes on that door when he comes waltzing through. I need to be there with a plate of clams and a chloroformed rag. Yeah, man, do your thing. Best of luck. Chloroform, huh? Pulling out the old classics. Yeah, man, do your thing. Yeah, you too. All right. No. We want no alarms. Alarms are bad. The terminal is running a demo of S Technology's new format agnostic cyberdeck calibration software. Okay. Convention goer. Anything we're seeing over here? 
Not sure what that guy's doing. Perfect persona. Oh, right. This is actually the, the thing that we need to see. So this must be the VIP door. All right. We're going to go over here. Talk to this convention goer. Judging by the patches sewn onto his bomber jacket, this elf is from the NAN Council Island. To be specific, a forested chunk of rock in the middle of Lake Washington that was called Mercer Island until the Native American nations reclaimed it. He doesn't look a Merindian, a Merindian, a Merindian, Indian. I can never actually pronounce that before. Uh, before, I don't know before. I can never, yeah, I can never pronounce it. I, I've had issues with it before. Um, if anything, he looks Chinese in descent, though his mask makes it hard to tell for sure. He turns to face you at your approach. His features are mostly hidden, but you see that he's sporting a high steel collar and spiky hair. His cheeks are high boned and hollow. He eyes you nervously. Hey, you want something from me? What's up? Just wanted to get to know my fellow Congoers. You from Council Island? Is there anything specific that you're here to see? Yeah, I'm here to check out the 57 Fuchi Cyber Decks. My 55 Cyber 7 is really cutting it these days. I want to see what they're coming out with next year. And I've heard that they have a demo station. So uh, tell me, what's your favorite new ESP for incursion operations? I like Blast Hammer, personally. Heard of it? It's open source, developed by the Southeast Asian decking community. It does a number on blocker IC. Interesting. Last time I haven't heard of it, he snickers to himself. Really? It's only uh, the most popular freeware attack ESP in Southeast Asia. He's <laughs> practically shouting. His face is lit up with manacle glee. Calm down, man. I'm from Seattle, not Southeast Asia. Learn something new every day, I guess. Yeah. You said it. You better get with the program if you want to survive out there. He lures at you his expression all smugness and superiority. I mean, I'm just saying. Wanted to get to know my fellow congoers. You from okay, gotta go. Yeah, see ya. What a douche. Your calmly crackles to life with an ear splitting hiss. Isabel. Okay, I've jacked into the admin compute stick. You know, Tiv, I can't work with it. Are you in position yet? No, not yet. But to waiting position near the VIP and your ears fill with a shrill electronic whine. Use the kiosk. Remember, perfect percent use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Copy that. While you're getting there, I'll start working on getting you VIP exit. But got it. I'll sing you when I'm ready. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is there anything else you want to see on the show floor? You should probably check it out now before we get the ball rolling. He shrugs your call. We'll look around a bit more. Um, I've seen all that I need to see here. Let's get to the kiosk and get this job over with. Yeah, absolutely. What's over here? Boop. All right, so we're about to do this and uh, jump into the next part of this run, but we're gonna have to do that in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you then. Bye bye. We're going for the moon. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you'd like to see more, just click subscribe. Come say hi to me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, any of those. I hope to see you next time.